All right, so on 5-2, we're looking at problem number three. They're going to start out with baby steps here, okay? We're not actually going to be solving any of these. They give you this. It says x plus 4y is 30. Jot this down. x plus 4y is 30. And then beside it, put down x minus 2. Well, it doesn't really matter. x minus 2y. I don't really like this question. Okay. Oop, equals 0, not 6. We're not solving this system, OK? All right. Uh, yeah, I disagree with this. <laughs> Well, hang on. Um, pencil sharpener. Okay. I don't. I, this not a great question. Okay. Just watch for a second. Jot these down and just watch. Okay. Which of these equations says just x equals or just y equals? This one's this one says x equals? Oh, no, one. Neither one do. This says x plus which of these has x all by itself or y all by itself? Neither one. Neither one. This says x plus 4y equals 30. This is x minus 2y equals 0. Now, so here's what we're gonna do. We need to get either x or y. And here's the reason why I don't like this question, because there's in my opinion, there's more than one correct answer. Okay? Which do you think would be easiest? to get all by itself, the x or the y for the first equation, or the x or the y for the second? What do you think would be easiest? What do you think? Second, second get what by itself, x or y? The y. What do you got to get rid of? What do you have to do to get y all by itself? Minus 2. What else do you have to get by, rid of? The x and the minus 2. You could get y by itself. Now, does somebody think there's an easier way to get either x or y by And I'm not saying you're wrong. You, you could definitely do that. But would it be easier to solve for x or y in this one or this one? Ross says get y by itself here. We could do that. We could. For what? x or y? x. How do you get x by itself here? Minus what? Minus No, you want to get x by itself. Listen, forget about math. If I want to get you by yourself, do I need to get you out? Do I need to put you out in the hall? I need to get him. If I want to talk to him by himself, I don't remove him. I remove everybody else, okay? No, realistically speaking, you If I want to get x all by itself, what do I need to get rid of? Everybody. Not x. I need to get rid of everybody else. How do I get rid of the 4y? Divide it and minus. No, no, no. It says plus 4y. Get rid of it. How do you get rid of the plus 4y? Minus 4y. Let me add some. Over now, if you want to get y by itself, here's what you got to do. To get y by itself, you have to get rid of two things. Which would you get? This goes back to the first couple weeks of school. Which do I get rid of first, the x or the 4, if I want to get y by itself? The one furthest away from it. So which one, the x or the 4? The x. x. You'd minus the x, then eventually, how would you get rid of this 4? Divide by You have to do two steps. How do you get x by itself? Minus, minus what? Minus x. You don't want, you want to get x by itself. Don't get rid of the x, get x by itself. If I want to get x by itself, I don't get rid of the x. I minus the what? The 4y. How many steps is that? One. one. If I want to get y by itself, it's two steps. I have to get rid of the 4 and the x. But again, to get x by itself, it's only one step. You have to do what? Four, one. Get rid of 4y. What would be easier to get rid of get by itself here? The, two, the x by itself or the y by itself? What would be easier? Y. X. I'm hearing both. I want, which is it? X. How do I get x by itself? Add 2y. Add 2y. How would I get y by itself? Get rid of the x, and then eventually get rid of the 2, OK? So clear your mind here. I want to sort of feel like some of you guys are getting really confused here, OK? I can either get x by itself or y by itself. You guys said getting x by itself, I can do one thing. Minus 4y. Don't write this down. Just watch. If I do that, we have x equals, these cancel, 30 minus 4y. One step. That's all you got to do, OK? If I get y by itself, why do I get rid of the x first? Well, I answered it earlier. Why do we get rid of the get rid of the x first? Help them out. Why do we get rid of x first if we're going to get y by itself? It's further away. So you have to minus the x, minus the x. Is y by itself? No. You have to divide by 4, you have to divide by 4. Which was easier? Getting the x by itself or the y by itself? Getting the x by itself. Getting the x by itself. You just did what? Because you got rid of the y. How? You subtracted 4y, okay? So in this case, you just have to subtract 4y. Over here, 
What would be easier to get by itself, the x or the y? The x, you just have to do what? Plus 2y. Plus 2y. So, put this on hold here, okay? And somebody answer honestly. Answer it honestly, okay? If I gave you the number 10, or let's say the number 8, let's say the number 8, what's harder to do? Add 2 or subtract 2 from 8? Subtract 2. Add 2. Add. Really, you guys are in ninth grade now. Which is harder, adding 2 or subtracting 2? Somebody say it, really. Okay, I'm going to put you on the spot. As quickly as possible. Okay, I'm going to give you different numbers, okay? The number, number uh, 6, uh, add 1. Subtract 1 from 6. What would you say? Which took you longer? Sure, what's harder to do, add 1 or subtract 1? Come on, say it. They're not the same thing. Come on, it's not any harder. It's not any harder. No, it's not. Not if you're subtracting, like, 1, okay? Adding the same thing to each, or subtract, it's the same thing. So what's harder to do, subtract 4y or add 2y? Add 2y. Or none of it. It's none the same it. thing. This is why I don't like this question, okay? Because it's, the computer says, which one do they want you to have? They say this one. They say this one is, which one was it? X plus 4y, or x minus 2y. They say this one is a teensy bit easier, and here's why. And it's what you guys were saying. What's... I guess easier to do add or subtract. Add. But even then, I mean, he just proved it right there. When adding something, subtracting something. So what they're asking here is this. After all this, they're saying, which one would be easier to solve for? They say this one. I think this one's just as easy, though. So put that down. That one's easy to solve for. It's easy to solve for what? For x or for y? y. For x. Again, how do you get x by itself? How do you get rid of it? Add 2y. Add 2y. Now, if you're sitting, hopefully, after all this, hopefully this next one will be a little bit easier, okay? Okay. All right, so on this one, we have 5x plus 3y is 11. Write this down. And then next to that, put 5x minus y equals 5. I'm going to make this even easier for you here, okay? Question. If you go left just a few minutes, I don't want you missing this, okay? If you see a y pretty much by, like right here, it's not all by, if you see just an x somewhere. Now, I see just an x back here. It's not by itself, though, but it's just an x. So x is easier to solve for, okay? So when you look at these, which variable do you think we're going to get by itself? The x's or the y when you look at these? The x's or the y? The y. How come? Because it's already on over. Which equation are you looking for? The first one or are you looking at the second one? The second one, why? It, it generally has just a y, generally, okay? There is something else that's with it, though. One. Well, there's a one, yeah. Negative. The negative sign, okay? So we're going to solve for y on this one, okay? So that's what you're going to click on. 5x minus y equals 5, because it's not going to be that hard to solve for y. Now, that's the answer. That problem's done, but let, I'm actually going to do this, okay? I want to make sure you guys see this. you got to know the process, okay? How would... I get y. You don't need to write this part down. How would I get y by itself? How would I get rid of this 5x? Minus 6. Minus. Now, some students think you add 5x. And I know why they think you add 5x. Why? The but the negative's on the what? On the right side. The y. So you minus a 5x, you minus a 5x. If you did that, these cancel. Is y by itself? No, it's not. It's almost by itself. No. So 5 minus 5x, then make everything the opposite. Instead of saying negative y equals y. positive 5 minus 5x, you'd say y, y equal negative, negative 5 plus 5x. Five. Five now is y by itself? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's look at the next one. We need to get out of this. I think I don't like these questions how they start off. They're supposed to be easier, but I think they make it more confusing. Okay. This one should be much, 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 much easier. Yeah. Okay. X minus y is negative 3. 4 plus 3 equals negative 5. Negative 5. Okay. Think about it. Don't just shout out answers. Think about it for a second here. Which do you think would be the easiest to solve for, x or y, in the first one or the second one? The second one for what? Okay. What's x equal to? How do I get x by itself? You would get rid of 3. Yeah. And? If you want to get x by itself, you got to get rid of 4 also. Oh. 
Okay, and I don't mean to knock you here, okay? Listen to what I said about five minutes ago. Look for just an X somewhere or just a Y somewhere. Does the second one have just an X somewhere? No, it's, no, it's got a four one. X. It's okay. Like Does the second one have a Y, just a Y? No, no it has a what? Three Y. Three Y, okay. Do the first one have an X or a Y? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Which one? Do you, this one does actually have a right answer here. Which one do you, is just X or just Y? Which one? The first one. Okay, which one for the first one that has just X or just, does this have just an X or just a Y? I think you have the X first. Good, because is that just X? Because it comes first. No, yeah. Not because it's just first. X. Is this just X? Yeah. Is this just Y? No, negative. There's a negative there. Oh. This has just an X, so you want to get X by itself. How do you do it in two words? How do you get Add X? Add Y. Add Y. Okay, so you want to get X minus Y equals negative 3, because you can get X all by itself. You just have to do one step. Add, three, add Y to each side. That's all you'd have to do. All right. Okay, we're going to do maybe just a couple of questions here, okay? Question number nine. Now we're actually going to... I just think it'd be better just to actually dive into these rather than, I just think, I think they're trying to make it easier and I think it's making it more confusing. We're actually going to use what's called substitution here. Okay, it says x equals 17 minus 4y. And don't just shout out answers. I want you to think about it for a second. 17 minus 4y, y equals x minus 2. I don't want anybody to say anything for a couple, for like 30 seconds or so, okay? What I want to know, don't say it. I know some of you guys are just rare to shout out something here, okay? Does either equation tell you what X is? Don't say anything yet. Or what Y is? Not necessarily as a number. And again, say it in your head to yourself. Instead of saying equal, say is. Does either equation say what X is or what Y is? Or neither or both or what? They both do. Okay, you say they both tell you what what is. What does the top equation tell you? X is what? How do you know that? It says so. Does the second equation tell you what X is? It tells you what Y is. Y is what? X minus 2. So here's what we could do. You could substitute this in for X down here, or you could substitute for Y. What can I plug in for Y? What is Y? X minus 2. I don't care what we do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to plug this in for X. X is this. So wherever I see an X, plug it in. So tell me what I'm going to write. Y, y equals, y what's X? 17 minus 4Y minus 2. Minus 2. Write that down. Is that a solvable equation? Yes. How come? There's no X. What variable is it? Y. The Y. That's solvable now. Clean this up a little bit. How can I clean that up? Can I simplify that left, the right hand side a little bit? Careful, that's not two. Add four y. That's not two. Negative two. So we have y equals what's seventeen and minus two? Fifteen. Fifteen minus four y. Okay. Milani answered this earlier, so you gotta keep your mouth shut on this one, though, because I want to make sure other people know this also. We need to get y by itself. What do we need to get rid of? Add four y. Fifteen. And. Which first, 15 or 4? 4. 15. I heard 15 and 4. Four. Four. Oh, whoa, 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 I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, hang on. I made a mistake. We have Y's right here. Can I put those two Y's together? No. They're on different sides. What do we do if they're on different sides? It's been a long time. Get rid of the smaller one. Which one's smaller, Y or negative 4? Oh, y. Y. 4. Negative 4. So how do I get rid of negative 4 Y? Add 4 Y. Both sides. So y and 4y is 5y equals 15. Now what? Divide by 5. Divide by 5. Y equals 15. Okay, y equals 15 divided by 5, which is 3. Are we done? Yes. We're totally done? Because y is by itself. Okay, I'm glad. I want to make sure we talked about this a half hour ago. If I graph these two lines, what does it mean by the solution? Where they meet. The point where they meet, where they cross, okay? A point has an x value and a y value. We're not done. So now we have to do the opposite. What do you mean? We're like we already have that. What'd you say? We have to find x. We have to find x. What did you just say? We already have it. Kind of. We kind of do. Okay? He says we need to find x. You guys are both right. He says we gotta find x. He says we already found. We already know what x is. 
We kind of know what X is. What do you think X is? What does it say X is? Okay, he says X is 17 minus 4Y, and he's not wrong. But I want to know as an actual number, okay? How are we going to find out what X is? Well, if you plug in the other equation into Y. What do you mean? Y equals X minus If Y is 3, wherever I see a Y, you plug in 3. So X equals 17 minus 4 times what? 3. So yeah, we kind of knew what X was, but I want to know it as an actual number, okay? Do we subtract or do we times first? So 17 minus 12, which is? And don't screw this up at the very end. True or false, the point they meet is at 3, 5. No, they're supposed three. to meet at 3. Huh? Didn't they have 3? Well, I mean, remember, a point has an x value and a y value. Do they meet at the point 3, 5? Yes. Not 3, 5. Why? why? X goes first. It's not 3, 5. If you put 3, 5, if you show all your work, and you put 3, 5 down, do you, do you know what you're doing? No. no. Do you, do you generally know what you're doing? Yes. You do. But are you going to get the right answer? No. No, you're not. If you do this on a written test and you have it in the wrong order, I'll give you a lot of, I'll probably give you four out of five points. What's the computer going to give you? Zero. It's either right or it's wrong, okay? It's not three, five. Three, five, three. And don't lose sight of this. If I graph this line, and I graph, this is what this whole chapter is about. If I graph this line, and I graph this line, do these lines touch? No. Uh, yeah. Or no one, yes. Yeah. Don't lose sight of this. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. They definitely do. Where? Five, three. At five three. What are we finding? Three words. Where they cross. Where they cross. That's what we're finding. Where they cross. They definitely touch at this point. Okay. One more. Then we're gonna stop for today. Number eleven. Okay. All right. Number eleven. So we have. X equals 16 minus 4Y. And 3X plus 4Y equals negative 8, positive 8. Okay. Do we know what X is? Or do we know what Y is? Or both? Or neither? Or what? What's X? 16 minus 4Y. So I'm going to rewrite the bottom equation. Listen carefully. But when I get to X, I'm going to plug in 16 minus 4Y. So I know what X is. It's kind of like this. Um, next year, you're going to have a math class, OK? Who's your math teacher going to be next year? You don't know. Your math teacher. So you refer to your math, your, your next year's math teacher. If you talk about it, the only thing you can say is next year's math teacher, next year's math teacher. But as soon as you find out that it's going to be me or Miss Adams, you know, whoever it's going to be, you don't have to keep saying next year's math teacher. You can say what? Mr. Kale or Miss Adams, either one, okay? Once you know that, okay? Since we know that X is this, wherever I see an X, I can replace it with what X is. And what is X? One more time. So tell me what to write. Three? Don't say, no, not X. I'm plugging something in for X. Three parentheses. What is X? 16 minus 4Y. Parentheses? Plus 4? What computation did I just do? What calculating did I just do? What calculating did I do? You didn't do any. I didn't do any. I did what? What did you say, Connor? You calculated. I didn't calculate. I did what? You said the word. I substituted. I didn't do any calculating yet. Now I'm going to do some calculation. What are we going to do? Distribute. 3 times 60 is 48 minus? 3 times 4y. What? 12y. 12y. Do I times that by 3? No. Well, that's an interesting one. Did I write this down right? Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus 4y. Why didn't I times that by 3? Okay. Okay. Can I clean that up a little bit? Yeah. Find the. Find the y. Plus 4. 12y and 4y, you get what? 16y? Yeah. Careful. Oh, Isn't 12 and 4 16? Yeah, but it's negative. But it's not 12. It's negative. What's a negative 12 and a positive 4? Negative 8. Negative 8y equals 8. What's still out front? What two things do I have to get rid of? The 48, the 48 and the 8. 8. Which first? The 48. No, the 48. Why? It's farther away. From the Y. You want to get Y by itself. You have to get the 48 and the 8. The 48 is farther away. How do I get rid of the 48? 
Am I plus 48 or subtract 48? Subtract. Careful, a lot of people think you add it. Just subtract in front of it, sorry. So, what's on the left hand side? 8y? Not 8y. Watch those negatives. What's 48 minus 8? 40. So, what's 8 minus 48? 40. Careful, when you switch the order, negative 40. Negative 40. Okay? I want to make sure you guys have that down. 45 minus 17 is 28. So what's 17 minus 45? Negative When you switch your order, you just get the opposite. Okay? Oh, I think so. You learned something new today. So negative 40. Now what do we do? Divide by negative 8. What's a negative divided by negative? Positive. And what's 40 divided by 8? Positive. We all done? No, we have to do You got to find X. Because again, we're trying to find out the point that they meet at. And a point has what? A Y value and an X value. How are we going to find out what X Plug is? For what? For Listen carefully, I haven't told you this yet. Plug in 5 for Y into which equation? You know which one you have to plug Wait, it in no, for? No, it's just the top. It doesn't matter. Think about it. Because the point we're looking for is on which line? Both. Because the point we're looking, if I give you this right here, that point, why is that the solution? Which, which line is that on? It's on both. So you can plug this in for y into either one. It doesn't matter. What do you guys want to do, the top one or bottom? Top one looks easier. What'd you say? Top one looks easier. That's what I tell students. The one that you think looks easier. Some of you might think this one looks easier. So use that one. I don't care which one you use. He says use the top one. Okay, so x equals 16 minus 4y. But what do we now know? Plug in four, well, y. Plug in y. Plug in what? Plug in five for y. Why did we plug in five for y at the beginning? Because we didn't know. We didn't know it. We didn't know what it was. So plug in five. X equals 16 minus 4 times 5. 16 minus what? 16 minus 20. 20 minus 16 is 4. What's 16 minus 20? Negative 4. True or false? The answer is 5, negative 4. What's wrong with 5, negative 4? It's backwards. Backwards. X and Y. Do these lines touch? Yes. Where? Negative 4, 5. Negative 4, 5. Okay? All right. The rest of the time's yours.